Anyway, guys, first order of business for this turn. Uh, yeah, we're sort of taking a gamble, really, with gold now. Who the hell knows if, uh, who the hell knows if there's a giant army right there? We probably should scout and then reload and then see, but can't go. We will just play with fate. Uh, what are we facing here? Archer, two militia, general. Uh, let's give him. Aye. Joining forces, senor. Ready to say. You will. That should be enough. I'll give him the cavalry just in case. And then we send you over here. We senor, closing to engage. We senor. Now I'm still to take that. I just have to hope that there's that one general in Fury should not be enough to sign out and defeat me. We also have to hope that it's not a trap. And we're just going to get sort of annihilated when we, uh, in the next turn. We'll see how it goes. We'll probably die. Uh, it's a bit of a risk there, but Teague's whole fucking thing. I mean, this general has literally gone from Great Old uh, Watch all the way up here, through here, through here, around here, and then down there, down the neck again. Through the veil, through here, through the eerie, burning, uh, burning freaking the heart zone on the way down, down here, round here, and now back up the gold town again. And then we'll take ship, assuming this works, and go all the way around here, and then start burning Walton lands back to the north, full circle. So yeah, if uh, Teague makes it out of all this, he's pretty much a legend among the uh, among the first men at this point, I think. Anyway, uh, we'll probably do this battle next, Raven Tree, or. The one at Griffin's Roost. Evil way, to be honest. And Dari and uh, Ed uh, Edwin can just stay where they are for now. They will exceed to that next turn. If the Storm Kings ask for a peace treaty, I will just give it to them, to be honest. And we can focus on elsewhere. But uh, anyway, that's first order of business. Handle this. Yeah, on second thought, the Prince's army is pretty badass. I don't really want to waste it on the siege, especially such a pointless siege, really. I'll just uh, whittle down the defenders, leave it be. For now, I doubt there won't be any, you know. If Lannister reinforcement shows up, we can just leave the siege, beat the crap out of them, and then go back to sieging again. Uh, well, we can just leave it Ready under unable. Blackwood sieging it, to be honest. Um, yeah. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What we do have to do is deal with this. Glory to Montrois. Which is uh, easily enough dealt with, really. Although our units are kind of shit. Eh. Alright, fuck it. Let's do this. Our units are kind of crap, but we'll easily be able to deal with these guys. They'll just leave the prince laying seized to a raven, uh, raven thingy tree. I'll do it right the first time. <laughs> but uh, I don't want to waste these units. They're pretty fucking decent, so... All right, we'll uh, we'll skip ahead and we'll ride out and just beat the crap out of them in fury, or we'll lure them to come to us and beat the crap out of them with archers. I'm not sure. We'll see how we play it. Okay, guys, after like 12 hours of trying to put my general somewhere and just giving up and dumping him back over here, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll begin. Charging militia, you will be rewarded with lands, lands and title. Yeah, no mind. No lands and title for you, militia. Charge! Like, no, never mind, get the fuck away! It was a trap! Yeah, that'll teach a still man of fuckers to attack my castles, won't it? Alright. Where are you at? They are shooting me with their archers, but their archers are crap compared to mine, so.
Ceasefire! My carver's gonna come around and fuck him. Alright, well! Which one's Will? I don't know. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Could you guys not shoot my own cavalry, please? Yes, keep shooting them. <laughs> They're coming in for another run. Ah, oh, this is too entertaining. What are you doing? All right, they're they're going out. Like that. All right. Is very much in our favor. If we remain right, right there, attack them. Fast, victory will be ours. There goes our our captain. Have captured the enemy general. Our cowardly foe runs. Continue. We must push our Run advantage. them down. Try not to shoot my own fucking guys, please. <laughs> Come on, get the rest of them. And that one. Yeah, that unit's dead anyway. Alright. Run them down. Ah! Damn arches. <laughs> and those guys as well. Orders completed, Yep. Those missile guys like turned around and decided to run elsewhere. <laughs> Them will be awed by our victory here today. Yep, yeah, very nice. I think that would be heroic, but apparently not. Well, all, I never get heroics in this, apparently. It's just... Okay. Ah. <laughs> accepted my ransom. Seigneur, we have no, claimed that's this fine. day. So when the gardeners swoop in, make the Dondarians their, uh, uh the Durandons, whatever the hell you want to call them, make them their vassals. Leave and ally them. with themselves and just make Raise my life hell. <laughs> in for Hall's rioting. It's because it's a bitch. Uh, Gold Town and Thingy are both ours there, which is nice.
Alright, first one. Sort of resolve. It's nice and easy battle. There's no point in me going into that. Can stand in mm. our 15 grand from sacking the place, which is very nice. Now, uh, master quick. It's 20 men with that. And sack that for 8 grand, which is nice from a fucking castle. And then Gold Town is ours as well. Do we keep Gold Town? I think we burn it to the ground, to be honest. It is. This is, uh. <laughs> this, is, this is Teague. The bane of the Andals. The Andals' bane, you know? Fucking And Bolton's bane, apparently. This is the bane of generally anything that he takes. He's already burnt Heartstone to the ground, I'm pretty sure. Because. In my head, he's not really doing this under the orders of the King of the Rivers and Hills. He sort of just went off on his own volition and fucked up everybody. You know, defending his homeland, he sort of took it into his own hands. So I don't really think he's working on the orders of the King. So, you know, that explains why he's been just burning everything to the ground. He's essentially raiding. Pretty much, he's just pillaging and raiding and all settlements and going around. He's like... He's an outlaw, essentially. He's not really... He hasn't really got royal royal permission to be doing this, but fuck it. But yeah, I think we're uh, we're going to burn it all to the fucking ground, which we'll skip ahead to having done, because burning it to the ground is going to take a lot of... It's going to cost a lot of money. <laughs> uh, it's, cost, it's not cost a lot of money. It's going to be very loud doing it. Okay, guys, with that done, I have a bunch of gold, which is very nice. And... Just leave the question of what we're going to leave behind to... Yeah, that'll do. They will rebel. I have no doubt about that, obviously, but, um... Slightly worried about the prince over here that they might attack. Down southward, so what we'll do... We'll send to you most of his army around. Uh, if they lay siege to Goldtown, I might swoop in and take Redfort. Just because I could. So these will rebel. 100%. I don't really give a shit about them, to be honest. They can do whatever the hell they want. Um, the young Blackwood. You will, Mourois. Yeah, I'll leave that as it is, really. Seigneur. Oui. An order. Marche. Oui. We shall slaughter them. Oui, mon roi. Oui, seigneur. Closing to yeah. engage. Well, they siege to that. That is their uh, prince, apparently. We shall prevail. They've got some very decent troops inside of there, but we'll whittle them down before we do the actual battle. Oui, mon roi. Living the fleet. Orders, your will, mon roi. Mon roi. Moving ashore, mon roi. Seigneur, mon roi. Yeah, hide inside Evil Hall's port for now. Uh, we are still losing like two grand a turn, which isn't ideal. We need 20 grand to upgrade Dusk and Tell into a. That's your big ass city. Uh, do we upgrade? Or do we upgrade Dari? We don't have enough to do both, but Dari Keep might be worth investing in. We'll leave Raven Tree. It's only five more turns. I don't really give a shit about it, to be honest. Oui, senor. Nah, we will build. That's neat. If we begin... Just some construction of some ships. Is ideal. So yeah, I'm just weighing out whether or not we need to balance out my economy a bit and get some money. Because otherwise I'm going to go back into debt again. Which will be fixed when I take 
Raven Tree and I sack it, and then I, you know, take some more stuff and sack it. Hmm. Or whether I really need, or whether I'd rather have the 10 grand right now. Or do I focus on sh uh, some ships? Because some, having an actual fucking navy might be very handy. Um, oh, the choices. I don't want to build too much, like I said, because I don't want to go massively into debt or anything stupid. And it costs a lot to upgrade this shit. <laughs> I think I do it later. And for now, I just keep the money. Yeah, for, you know, an emergency. Yeah, fuck it. We'll keep the money for an emergency. Uh, we'll go next turn. I believe that's everything. Yep. What does Gardner want? Are they still talking to... Storm Kings? Yep, Salt Pans is under siege. By a small force. Darren, but da the men in Darren might actually be able to go assist in that. Well, I'm not sure if it will be enough. Yeah, okay, there's a large force. Ah. Uh, I'll keep the prince unwed for now. I am the richest faction, despite the fact that I'm going into horrible debt. Yep, there's a large, large-ass Aaron force there laying siege to that. All right, we're just gonna resolve Raven Tree. It's yeah, it's in our favor anyway. It's couldn't be bothered fighting that to be honest, losing troops or anything stupid. Victoire must no ball, mon roi. We have triumph. Right. Uh, Blackwood, you won't stay in Raven Tree. I kind of want Bracken to move his ass over here. If they find us here, senor. Just so I can grab his loyalty. Where Give it to the prince. Senor. By your will, senor. And then we send the prince down here. We, our men will, senor. And Blackwood will go over here as well, and he'll go over to Darien to help deal with all that crap. We'll build some extra troops inside Darien Keep. Low maiden pools taxes. Building some ships inside of there. Ready to say. We Ready to say. We Go down to three thousand debt. Next turn. Ready to say. What we'll do is just. Leave that one out for now. We can stay in Griffin's Roost. I'm not particularly bothered. Blackhaven can just stay under siege for a bit. See, I'm somewhat considering um, abandoning Hornville and Golden Tooth, pulling back to the rivers here, which I can just hold very easily. Or pushing down towards Castle Rock. Which is, like, far more risky. Send those idiots back in. And then we send you up here. That way I can defend against them. And I can defend against uh, Tarbuck as need be. Let you inside Orville, which has shit public order for some reason. 
Irritating. We sing out. They're trying to change the the faith in Raven Tree, those cunts. <laughs> anyway, um that's about it, isn't it? No, we need Ready to, to set. Set, set. I think we might okay. just Senior. have the movement points to do this. Yeah, that will work. That will do the trick in that regard. Hang on, that blocks Corbury off. Keep it up here, join Master. We, we shall slaughter them. Let us stop and, and take the walls. We fought us. Hopefully that's an Aaron, and then we've killed yet another Aaron. <laughs> Which would be handy. I think we've already killed two, right? We killed Talon, we killed the King, I'm pretty sure. Outside here, I'm pretty sure Tully did it, as I recall. At any rate, uh, Salt Pans is pretty much fucked. We won't have to worry about that, to be honest, we'll just leave it be. Um, okay, we'll probably have a fight with the Lannisters at some point over there, depending on where they move. And Stormlands is a sort of a stalemate for now. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go next turn. We'll see what happens. Yeah, there you go. Gold Hand's gone. Obviously. Red Fort will be ours on the bright side. And that's basically it for this turn, to be honest. Probably just have to deal with these Lannister cunts, which, yeah, we'll have to deal with him. <laughs>